and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for December 22. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all of the kinds of games that I could build. This one is the list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Oh, by the way, I've got two very interesting videos coming out tomorrow and Monday, so definitely stay tuned, and when you see these thumbnails, click on them. And if you need some assets and tools, there's four humble bundles right now with huge discounts. There's a repeat of the excellent tools and art bundles. There's one all about assets from Blink, very nice low poly fantasy style, and one all about sounds. Beyond that, there's a New Year sale on the Asset Store with the usual top assets at half price, but mainly stay tuned for those two upcoming videos. Alright, so starting off with a fun animation pack all about drunken martial arts. All of the moves look really creative, they're all really unique. In total, there's 73 animations with some really great looking combos, so this is pretty fun to make your game stand out from the usual standard fighting animations. Next up, if you have some kind of Matrix inspired game, then here's a Matrix inspired shader. You can apply it to anything, so it can be a statue, you can apply it to an animated character or any kind of environment. You can combine it with your own custom shaders made in Shader Graph or Amplify Shader Editor. The final effect with glowing letters really looks really nice. Up next here is a really nice stylized orc character. It includes the character along with various skin colors. And on top of that, a bunch of modular parts to add on top. You can add some tusks, add a beard, some hair, and even some armor. If you like this style, then this dev has tons more packs. Then if your game is pixel art, here's some great looking military objects. It's some really high quality pixel art, you've got tons of weapons, gadgets, knives, resources, tools, and a whole bunch more. So the whole thing looks like a really great, very complete icon pack. If your game has some sand where the player can walk on, then maybe this shader can help polish that. You have some sand, you can remove the sand in certain parts, so it's a simple effect, but adding this to your character's footsteps or maybe some vehicle tracks, adding that would really give it that extra bit of polish. Then if you need a good realistic city, look at this one, it's very realistic, looks a little bit dystopian, very brown, very dark, in total you have 120 prefabs and a whole bunch of decals. Next up, to polish your UI, here's some VFX. It's a whole bunch of nice effects, you've got some squares, some hexes, circles, and some interesting shapes. All in multiple colors, which you can make it represent whatever you want. Then here's a gorgeous pixel art dungeon pack. It looks really great, reminds me of Dead Cells, great game. You've got over 300 prefabs, so it's a really huge pack. Lots of stairs, platforms, elevators, traps, tables, doors, and a bunch more. It includes a demo scene, so if you have a quick prototype you want to try out, then just use that. Then here's a bit of a fun one, it's an art gallery museum with a whole bunch of dinosaur bones. Definitely a very niche environment, but it looks really great. It's all in some really high fidelity with some high resolution textures, it says that it's VR ready. So it sounds like it would be fun to just import this into a VR project and walk around looking at dinosaurs. If you're looking for something more game-like, well here's an anime natural environment. It's got some very inviting colors, some very cute cell shaded characters. Real looks very nice, very pleasant, very calming. The foliage colors are customizable, so you could make summer, autumn, or a winter scene. Next here is another animation pack. It features some great, very realistic, very powerful moves. There's over 270 animations. It says a female fighter, but I guess it would work on a male mesh as well. So if you want to do some punches and kicks, then check it out. Then here's a fun one, it's a hot rod constructor. You've got tons and tons of modular parts you can mix and match to make an endless amount of really interesting looking cars. It definitely is a very unique style, you can make it look like a car from the 30s. Or you can change the wheels to make something more sci-fi, like something out of the Jetsons. So all in all, a very unique pack for making some really interesting cars. Then if you need some survival props, here's a great pack. I'm using a similar one from this dev for my own Steam game, Total War Liberation. This one has over 400 modular prefabs. So everything from buildings, a whole bunch of props, some walls, environments, so pretty much everything you need to mix and match and build your own world. Then here's a huge pack that looks like it was taken straight from the game Mafia. I love playing that game, I still remember crossing the bridge and having to go super slow so I don't get a ticket from the cops. This pack looks exactly like that, which I guess looks exactly like New York in the 1950s. So if you're making a game set in their era, then this mega pack looks like all you need. 
Then if you're making an RTS game and you need some units, check out this one. It includes not just one, but four factions, all in an interesting low poly style, and the whole thing also includes animations. Next up, here's a nice pack with a bunch of sci-fi badges and ranks. They are modular, so you can come up with endless variation. By adding more and more layers, you can make the badge look more and more impressive to signify some kind of rank progression. Then for another modular pack, here's one to help you build thousands of tower defense turrets. It's got a really nice sci-fi look with 10 variants for the top, 8 for the middle and 9 for the bottom, all in multiple colors. So quite a lot of interesting variety and the models do look really great. So this would be perfect if you want to make a quick tower defense prototype. Or perhaps instead you want to make a card game, then look at this pack. It's got some nice pixel art, some very simplified cards and elements. So the whole thing looks really great and this one is actually pretty cheap. Next, if you need some modular guns, here's a great one. They have three base models, so you've got a sniper rifle, an SMG, and a pistol. You can start from those bases and then add tons of modular parts on top, so you can change the slide, magazine, suppressor, sights, and a bunch more. Or perhaps you want something modular, but instead some trucks, so look at this one. They are some really nice low poly models, you've got various truck cabins, various bumpers, bodies, trailers, which you can then mix and match to get some really interesting results. Again, don't forget these videos coming out tomorrow and Monday, I'm working on something really special. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Store for December 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.